Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another beautiful episode of Current News Extra Interview Session, a beautiful program where we invite innovators, stakeholders, and influencers in the blockchain, crypto, and uh, fintech ecosystem to come talk about matters arising and the state of the ecosystem and their contributions as well. So today I have with me Obasi Francis, who is the co founder and CEO of Lead Wallet. Obasi, welcome to Current News Extra. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you. you know, how is Benin City today? Yeah, Benin City is going very well. I mean, the weather is calm, and then everything, city life is just going as expected. Thank you. That's very nice. Nice to know. Uh, uh, we'll be looking at advancing the blockchain sector through quality innovations. We we'll see what uh, blockchain has presented us with, and we need a lot of innovations. We want to see what are, what are some of the innovations in the, this ecosystem and how to advance this system. But before we move straight to that topic, uh, let me get a brief about you and your background, Abbas. Okay, sure. So you already know my name. I'm, I'm Obasi Francis Ifegu. I'm from Abia State, Nigeria. And um, I'm currently based in Benin City, Edo State. I, I finished from the University of Benin uh, in 2014, BSc in Political, political science, and I also did a master's program in 2016-2017. So I, I backed a, an MSc in political economy, basically. And then since 2016 up until now, I have been involved in the crypto space from, you know, um, working as a community manager in the past, content writer and all of that, to founding my first um, um, firm, ICE, although it's defunct now, and then also moving to the founding of a lead wallet as it is today. Thank you. That's a very nice uh, background, a uh, very good one. You, you are more of an innovator. So let's see uh, how things are looking at uh, the blockchain ecosystem. How would you rate the current innovation in the blockchain space? And what do you think should be done to encourage more innovations? Well, like, like everybody will always tell you, we are still in the super early stage right now. Right now in the crypto space, I can say in general that there is innovation going on indeed, but not all the innovations that we are experiencing right now would actually stand the test of time because some of them are experimental at best. And a lot of them have, have no good business model backing them. Just like the lending project and uh, lending coin that we are trending in 2016 and 2017, They've all faced out now because in reality, those, those, pro, uh, those um, projects or those business models were not sustainable. So looking at the DeFi space as it is right now, yes, we have developed a better lending model or a better lending business model whereby you can actually go to any of these lending platforms like Aave or Compound to take out loans and then you pay back at a specified time with interest uh, with zero or very little collateral uh, at best right? It shows that things are changing very quickly. And then we are giving the banks run for their money. So ultimately, the, the, the whole um, crypto craze or the whole cryptocurrency um, movement is going to overtake the banks. The banks will eventually have to bow for the crypto community in time to come. But in terms of um, 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 general product development, developers need to sit up more to build more sustainable projects. Developers need to take more responsibility to make sure that when they build a product, it's, it's foolproof from you know, being hacked or from being having some kind of malicious code be, being involved in it or anything. So developers, innovators, everybody needs to sit up to make sure that we actually indeed move the, in, the industry to a very uh, sustainable atmosphere, whereby anything that is will always be. Not that you try a business model this year and then by next year, nobody is using the platform anymore. The coin that you issued already down to zero and all of that. Okay. So that's, uh, that's uh, Francis, Francis uh, talking about innovation, uh, yeah. you, are the, uh, C, you are the CEO and also co-founder Lead Wallet. Uh, uh, what ways is Lead Wallet contributing when it comes to innovation? How are you innovating? So basically, our business model is simple. Our business model is to bring um, um, cryptocurrencies to the masses. Basically, those who have not heard about crypto 
or who are currently not in the crypto space. So we want to be able to give them interesting products that is very easy to use and with very minimal fees at, 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 at the very least, very minimal fees. So let's say, for instance, you, you, you pay 0.15% or 0.2% or on exchanges when you try to convert from one cryptocurrency to another. On our platform, we hope to reduce it as much as low as 0.1 to 0.08%, depending on the size um, of transaction that the user in question is doing. That's just on the exchange and on the swap aspect. We are also making sure that we add in the app, we bring in um, several features, unique features that would allow users to spend their cryptocurrencies. So for instance, in the app, we are building a marketplace. In that marketplace, there is going to be the option of a decentralized market um, space, like what you have with the origin protocol. And then there is going to be a centralized marketplace that supports um, 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 popularly known marketplaces like Amazon, like Jumia, like Conga, you know, like eBay. So in that centralized marketplace that we are bringing, we would allow our users to make payments in cryptocurrencies for any item they want to purchase. While on the back end, we'll settle our business partners, our vendors in whatever cryptocurrencies they so prefer or whatever um, fiat currency they prefer. So we are trying as much as possible to just make everything simple, especially in the wallet aspect where users will not find it difficult to get their wallet address when they want to receive coins or send out their coins when they want to send to someone. So that's what we are doing too. We are, we are innovating from simplicity to multiplicity of functions. That's simplicity of functions and multiplicity of functions. So at the end of the day, users can do so many things in the crypto space all from one application. That, that's it. That is really our goal. And that's why we named the, 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 the app Lead, Lead Wallet. We want to become the leaders of crypto mass adoption. Thank you. That's a very nice one coming from you and a very nice innovation uh, from Lead Wallet. Uh, moving forward, uh, oh, look, look, how do you think, you're talking about innovation, uh, how do you think innovation will be in the, crypto, in the blockchain space, uh, let me just say in the next five years? How do you see innovation in the next five years? Can you hear me? <laughs> Okay, so it's, it's usually, yeah, you said, I, I think if I got you correctly, you said, what do I think about innovation in the blockchain space in the next five years, right? Yes. So the way I like to answer this kind of question is just to uh, look at it from the population perspective. So um, um, Thomas Martius, in, in one of his um, theory, when he was discussing about population growth. He said arithmetically, right? So um, um, a society will just keep growing gradually, gradually, gradually. So it will get to a point where that population will begin to grow geometrically, right? And once a population starts growing geometrically, the economy needs to also start growing faster from that arithmetic level. Otherwise, you know, things like poverty, things like hunger will begin to set in because at that point, the, 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 the um, resources on ground will no longer be enough to serve the population, something like that. So when we borrow that analogy into the crypto space, all I can tell you is that in the next five years, what would have achieved the kind of innovation that would have happened in the crypto space would be such that have happened in the past 10 years of the crypto life. So that means that whatever innovation that we have experienced in the past 10 years in this space is going to be exactly what would happen or even more in the next five years. So, because we are moving faster than we were moving when the whole thing started. A lot of people are coming into this space, brighter minds from the traditional economy are moving into um, the crypto space, new ideas in terms of business models, new ideas in terms of how to grow a community, in terms of how to convince the people to, to you know, adopt cryptocurrencies and all of that are being explored every day. So in the next five years, I mean, we are going to be like, double the size in terms of market capitalization, double the size in terms of human capital, and so many other use cases is going to be already acceptable. I mean, use cases that are not commonly feasible right now. Thank you. Thank you very much. It has really been an amazing time out with you, obviously, Francis Ifebu, who is the CEO, uh, co-founder and CEO of Lead Wallet. Thank you very much for joining us today on Prime News Australia. Thank you so much. It was also an uh, um, it was a period like like I enjoyed the the the, the chit chat and then the questions. I mean, 
It was nice having you on your on your platform. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alfred.